Hi, welcome everybody to the video review of the latest Samsung Active Smart PC. First of all, I would like to thank our friend at Global World Mobile for this Samsung Active we have for our review. Well, we saw in the previous focus both the uh, tablet usage and the desktop usage of this Samsung Active Smart PC. So you already see in many of the pro and cons of these two kind of interfaces, both the Metro UI or the standard Windows desktop interface. Well, let's just now see and some other things that we didn't uh, go into deep view in the previous uh, focus. First of all is the Internet Explorer 10 in the tablet interface. Well, the Internet Explorer 10 is a such a nice browser indeed it's very very fast as you can see it's quite smooth while well, scrolling there's definitely no problem in pinch zooming it's really really smooth it's incredible it's such a nice pleasure to use it to browse the internet so uh, very good work very good job for microsoft for this internet explorer 10. nevertheless it's very very usable the interface and both the gestures that microsoft thoughts for this Internet Explorer 10. As you can see, I can easily switch to another tab without any kind of problem. And this is very nice indeed. Let me load this Italian newspaper, a site which is quite a heavy one. And as you can see, we have no problem at all in scrolling or in pinch to zooming, which is very, very nice indeed. But what we have a very strange behavior for what concerns the Flash player with this Internet Explorer 10. What is really strange is that Internet Explorer has the Flash player integrated inside, but we cannot use it completely when we are in the tablet interface. Just let me give you an example. If I try to load the Alfa Romeo site, which as you saw in the previous uh, uh, dedicated focus, uh, it's a very heavy site already, uh, uh, sorry, it's all made up of flash, so you cannot see it like this if you don't have flash, flash player installed. What is really strange is that I use the tablet interface for Internet Explorer 10. Seems like the flash player, as you can see, is not installed at all. If I just choose the desktop interface of Internet Explorer 10, like this, as you can see, the, um, the Alfa Romeo site loads without any kind of problem. So this is really strange. I don't see why Microsoft decided not to use the integrated Flash player for the tablet interface of Internet Explorer 10. This is very, very strange indeed. And it's a pity, let me tell you, it's really a pity because it could be really useful to have a full Flash player for the tablet sites. Well, let's just leave apart the uh, Internet Explorer 10 let's analyze some few other stuff like the dedicated program made by Samsung. The first one is Chadon. You should already know it in several platforms like iOS or Android. And let's see some other nice interface, uh, uh, sorry, application like S Note, S Gallery and S Player. So let's start with uh, S Player. This is a very nice player for everything that concerns multimedia, which means pictures, music and videos. And what is really nice is that you can finally see your pictures, your movies and your music without having to use the standard uh, Microsoft application, which force you to get first inside the store and then you can browse your picture as well as movies, as well as music. So using the S Gallery, Finally, you can directly uh, see your picture, your movie, and listen to your music. Then, sorry, I just wanted to close it. Then let's give a look to the S Note application. Just let me create a new note. I remind you that we have an S Pen here on the lower uh, right side of the Adif. Let me take it out, here we go. This is the S Pen. It's quite similar to the one you can find inside the Galaxy Note 10.1 as well as the Galaxy Note 2. But we have 
many, many, uh, mm, let's say, many less services than we have in Android, for instance. The first thing you saw that when I took out the S Pen, I didn't have any pop-up note to use and take uh, a quick note. Moreover, we don't have uh, many functionalities that we have in Android. For instance, if we go inside the pictures like this, and we we get the over the picture, you know, we don't have the nice preview that we could have, for instance, in Android. This is really a pity. Then, if we go inside as note here, and we take a new note, for instance. The first things you will notice that, of course, we can write ciao, but we cannot have the quick switch between pen and pen, pen and rubber like this. Just pressing the button here, we don't have the possibility to erase anything. Oops, sorry. Like this, this is very strange. As well as we don't have the magnetic lasso like the one we had in Android where you could just press the button and trace the edge of something to get it selected. As you can see, nothing happens. And this is really strange and it's a pity because, I mean, the S Pen was such a nice application in Android, so I thought that we could have the same behavior inside Windows 8, which is not true, at least uh, for now. But we have, of course, everything dealing with the different kind of pencil pen and so on. We have the possibility to, for instance, recognize the text like this. Ciao. Nice. We have, of course, the shape recognition like this. Then we can, for instance, trace a square and here we go. And the circle as well. Very nice. We have, of course, the formula recognition. So let's write 2a plus b equals 2a. And, oops, sorry, equal to minus a. And we can, for instance, find the solution using Internet Explorer 10 and Wolfram Alpha. Of course, we have the result, here we go, and we have even the graph of the this nice small equation. Well, let's just close all from alpha and let's get back to the to our note. We have, uh, of course, the rubber to erase everything like this, and we can, of course, insert both picture images clip art, maps. What is really strange is that we have here another things less than in Android. We cannot use the gesture like pressing the button and swiping up to have the clip art recognition while we have just to write the name of the clip art we need to use and we get the clip art. This is not possible inside Windows 8. As you can see, nothing happened when we perform our gesture. Then, so this is for what concerns the S Note and S Pen. Just want you to show you one more thing. This is not dealing exactly with the. Uh, this is not dealing exactly with uh, S S Pen and S Note capabilities. This is something that has, has to be, uh, you know, is brought to you by Microsoft directly, which is the very nice character recognition. I O from Techno Lost. Uh, maybe I have to. Oops, let's change. Hi. If you want to correct, you just you just can do something like this. We can change and write back. 
well maybe here the problem is that I choose the Italian recognition but I can tell you for sure that this is a very very nice um, charter recognition very very good one well this is for what concerns the ES Note and S Pen now let's just put the S Pen aside and let's give a look to the last of the Samsung app which is the S Gallery this is not only useful to have some kind of classification of our pictures and video but it's very nice because we finally have maybe a better interface what concerns the camera uh, in respect of the standard Windows 8 interface we can finally choose the flash behavior like automatic, always on or always off and we can select, we have the zoom here or we can select some few options like uh, brightness, uh, contrast and exposure but of course we cannot choose and this is very strange here we cannot choose the other uh, option like for instance the resolution of our picture just to give you a quick comparison this is the standard Windows 8 interface for the camera and we cannot choose uh, let's say anything but the resolution because we don't even we cannot even choose the behavior of what concerns the flash we cannot choose if all, having it always on always off or in automatic mode the flash here it's always in automatic mode we cannot choose anything so as you can see the interface for the S gallery it's a little bit better so this is for what concerns the S gallery and the um, and the camera interface so another very nice thing inside Windows 8 and the Metro UI is of course this news interface this way of reading the news which is quite nice and really reminds me of Flipper you should already know it in both iOS and in Android this is a very nice way to read your uh, news feed which is you can easily choose this way which is very nice we have the same kind of interface for what concerns the sport news like this moreover inside the sport news uh, you can even choose your uh, this is the selection for the kind of news you can even choose the your favorite uh, team here is this very soccer team of course it could be nothing but Rome <laughs> as I live in Rome of course and if you choose your favorite uh, soccer team like this you can have the results you can have the statistics and you can have many other nice info on your favorite team of course the last things about the news is for what concerns travels and here is very nice we can even perform some searches for what concerns flights and hotel so a very nice way of uh, having news feed inside windows 8 so good job microsoft for this uh, way of reading the news so another very important things of course is the Microsoft Store so I shall say this is really a weak point this is really a weak point because we have so few applications I mean Microsoft is working every day to add new apps to the store but they really have to go quick if they want people to continue buying Microsoft uh, Windows 8 we have so few apps inside some gen genres which, which is really embarrassing I mean for instance let me show you the social genre here if we get inside we have just 23 apps I mean so few and moreover if you give a look to these apps you cannot find neither Twitter or Facebook which is I mean it's it's some kind of suicide I mean if you coming out with a new OS like Microsoft did maybe you should already be sure that you got some very important app already in your store like Twitter and Facebook so this is really really a pity I mean really a pity well this is for what concerns the store now let's just uh, sum up and see the pro and cons so for what concern the pro we cannot uh, tell you that the 
Windows 8 is really a nice a very nice upgrade in the right direction for coming from Windows 7 nevertheless it's very nice with this Samsung Active to have a really complete set of interfaces like we have here uh, USB 2.0 full size we have the micro SD card slot which reads up to 64 gigabytes micro SD card I personally test one 64 gigabyte SD card we have the SIM slot here we have of course the HDMI port here so really uh, it, it's really a complete set of interfaces if you consider even that we have the dual band Wi-Fi we have 3G SHPA plus we have GPS NFC we have of course, as I told you, micro SD card slot, HDMI, USB 2.0 full size, so a very good set of interfaces. We have, of course, the standard Windows interface, and having an x86 architecture, we have practically uh, an infinite set of apps that we can install inside the desktop mode. This is this is really important to be underlined inside the desktop mode, not inside the Metro UI. And we have, of course, with Windows 8 and with this new uh, tablet interface, the possibility to read any kind of video file. This is really interesting indeed. Then we have a very nice keyboard for what's concerned the typing in the uh, I mean a software keyboard as well as a very good uh, charter recognition which is very nice indeed then the screen it has very good viewing angles which is quite remarkable and we have a very good banner indeed I mean I thought that maybe this could last no more than a standard uh, notebook but let me tell you that this tablet does last at least like the uh, best Android tablet so very very good battery uh, time then let's get with the cons I mean Windows 8 is for sure the step in the right direction coming from Windows 7 but it must be uh, updated it must be updated because as you can if you as you already saw inside the tablet focus the tablet interface itself is not uh, cannot be used completely alone for some kind of things for some kind of settings you must use the desktop interface and this is really a pity for a tablet I mean a tablet should be must be used alone without the need of the desktop interface I mean the desktop interface could be a plus it must not be something that you have to use to perform some kind of tasks then what else I mean we saw some kind of strange limits like we cannot we could not have more than three push account for what concerning emails we don't have the possibility to see the percentage of memory but going inside the desktop mode and clicking on this small battery here to see how much is left for the battery this is very very this is what I, I meant for being completely uh, useful the tablet interface itself without having to use the desktop then the big the big downside is the store of course we, we have so few apps so few apps maybe they should really work to add more useful apps not this kind of apps like Lorenzo Space or um, I don't know Carmine Punella, I mean, with all the respect for these people, these are not kind of apps we need in the store. Then, the desktop interface is really a nice plus, as I told you, but it's not quite useful because um, if you saw the dedicated focus, you saw that if we start, for instance, copying some big uh, files or even small, but Many of them, of course, we we have problem called the old system start stuttering, and this is really a pity because we cannot use 
in everyday usage the desktop mode if we are all these kind of limits then what else the the screen is is really big it's 11.6 inches as I told you but it's not a very good screen I mean it's the resolution it's a little bit too low for these kind of sites moreover being that big it's not that use uh, easy to use with just two hands I mean if I show you for instance for what concern uh, the keyboard typing it's not easy while you hold the tablet in your hands with two hands because like this let me show you let me show you the full keyboard as you can see it's it's almost impossible to use even two hands to type on the keyboard and even using the dedicated keyboard it's not easy because in this kind of layout the keys are too small in my opinion to be comfortably used so this that's all for what concerned the uh, Samsung Gatif once more thanks for watching and bye from Tectolost